Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Stephanie. Today we're going to show you a quick and easy way to paint your baby nursery. We will start with a plain blue room and with a few simple tools, transform it into a captivating space for your child. Let's get started. First, we'll go over some of the tools we'll be using. We'll use a Friendly Farms stencil kit from MyWonderfulWalls.com, a variety of brushes, many of which come in the kit, acrylic paints, a paint roller and paint pan, semi-gloss latex paint, a hammer, lightweight spackle and a putty knife, a measuring tape, a level, paper plate, some chalk, and a drop cloth. Since this room is already painted a nice color, we're going to leave it blue. This blue color will become the sky in our farm scene. If you're painting over a dark color, you may need to use primer before painting. Be sure to save some of your base color for touch-ups later on. Next, we need to repair the walls. Pull out all the nails using a hammer and a thin board to protect your wall. Now we want to fill the holes with lightweight spackle and a putty knife. You want to use lightweight spackle because it dries quickly and you can paint right over it. Okay, the walls are repaired and we've got our base color. Now the scene we will paint has hills and we want to be sure that those hills rise above most of the furniture. So with some chalk, we've gone ahead and marked out where the furniture will be. So now let's sketch the hills. The easiest way to paint hills is with a roller. Take four. For this room, we'll be using the Friendly Farm Stencil Kit from MyWonderfulWalls.com. This kit contains 30 large stencils, including a four-foot barn, farm animals, sunflowers, clouds, and a lot more. All these stencils are self-adhesive, so we won't need any tape or spray adhesive. The kit includes brushes and some extra release paper. You'll want to hang on to these because it will come in handy for later. Now the fun begins! For breakfast, we are going to start with a simple cloud. Remove the stencil from the paper backing. Don't throw away the backing. We'll need this to store the stencil. Place the stencil on the wall and rub it down with your hand, making sure that all inner edges are down. I'm going to be using a four inch foam brush, dipping it lightly in some white acrylic paint. Be sure not to get too much paint on the brush, otherwise it might bleed under the stencil. It's important to use a stabbing or padding motion to paint, particularly around the edges. If you use a back and forth motion, the paint could work its way under the stencil. Once the paint is semi dry, remove the stencil. It's that easy. Now that we've practiced with the cloud, we're going to start the scene with the barn. It's the largest element, so we'll want to start with it and work our way out. The barn comes in two pieces. I've used a level and a piece of chalk to mark where the top and bottom meet. This will ensure that our barn is straight. We are using a previously used barn stencil, so you can see it easier at home. Hold the sheet at the top edge, keeping it taut. Put the stencil close to the wall and eyeball the bottom edge with the chalk marks we made. Place the stencil against the wall. Use the same method for the bottom half. Hold the stencil at the top edge about an inch in from the outer sides, keeping it taut. This will keep the stencil flat as you lay it on the wall. Don't hold the stencil by the sides or you'll deform the stencil as you lay it on the wall and you'll end up with frustrating bubbles. Line up the notches at the bottom half with the top half and place the stencil on the wall. In order for these large stencils to hold their form, the design needs to include plastic bridges, which leave some unpainted areas. So, once the stencil is removed, just come back and paint them in. Drum roll, please!
You can create depth in a scene by layering elements, such as painting the fence in front of the corn, and painting the flower in front of the fence. Touch-ups are easy. Well, here it is! We have completely transformed this room in a single weekend. Now that you've seen how fun and easy it is to decorate a baby nursery with the Friendly Farm stencil kit from MyWonderfulWalls.com, we hope you're inspired to paint your own. And remember, at MyWonderfulWalls.com, we make it easy for your walls to be wonderful. <laughs>